was amazing, incredible, a miracle. Just a brief while ago, there I was about to marry Psycho Sophie, knowing I lost Octavia to Josh Montana forever. And now, here we were, two of us in each other's arms. Okay, who knew what kind of mess we had both left behind us? But right now, all that mattered was that at long last we were together, and we had a whole lot of kissing to make up for. But I wasn't the only one in trouble. Was Josh now in fact married to Sabrina? And who were those uninvited guests who turned up at the wedding? Mm, lovely, lovely, lovely. And where was Sophie? And most worrying of all, where on earth was Beanie? Beanie! Beanie! Oh, Beanie. This world was never meant for someone as beautiful as you. Please be all right. Please! What did he go and run away for? Gee, Sophie's probably the only girl ever prepared to look Giles in the face and say, I do. Yeah, I told you she was crazy. Well, he's not gonna get away with it. I'm gonna find that chicken-livered son of mine if I have to show his photograph around every house in the neighborhood. Did we ever take a photograph of Giles? Yeah, one. That'll do. He's in trouble now, Dad. Big trouble. Yeah, Ma. Now I'm, I've got married. Is that right? Now I'm officially married to you. Hey, you got a five watt light bulb for a brain or what? I said ten sets of the Touche Lingerie, five matching wristwatches, and one matching Ferrari. On second thoughts, make that two. Yeah, we're married. Hey, can I hear some more credit card numbers? Nicely, please. And now. Hey, don't you put me on hold. Honey, you need to calm down. How about I rub your forehead with some no alarm commie balm? You like that? My baby daughter. Or I have some placid soothing lozenges enriched with minerals and nature's own tranquilizers. Sir! We just found these, sir! Photographs. Am I in them? No, sir! But we believe the aliens are, sir! Those ones there that don't look human, sir! Aliens? You mean they're back here in our midst? Sir, we believe so, sir. Please, I have to see the doctor. I have a non-speaking role. Please sit down. The doctor will be with you shortly. If it's tax problems, don't worry. I am an accountant. But that doesn't mean that A, I don't have feelings, and B, that I won't go on to do something totally wild before I leave this world. It's Beanie. He's gone. The doctor will be with you shortly. Doctor, has Beanie been here? The guy with the pointy ears. He wanted to know what he was if he wasn't human. I said, go see a psychiatrist. Well, did he say where he was going? Hopefully not the same place as this guy. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, kid. You'll find the guy you're looking for. When you do, tell him I hope he finds what he's looking for, too. Be wild. Dr. You the accountant. That's me. But that doesn't mean that A, I don't have feelings, and B, that I won't go... Ah! Quit the small talk. Blood test reveals you got 24 hours to live. 24 hours? Maybe 25. Sorry, pal. Your time's up. And it's too late for me to go totally wild and see the wonders of the world. It's never too late. No regrets? No. You, you sure? Mm-hmm. 
okay, 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 this, okay, this is just chicken. <laughs> does, it, does that mean, hmm, I'm sure, or, hmm, no, I'm not, or, hmm, hmm, I'm still not decided. Giles, we've just run away. We'll probably be running for the rest of our lives. So please, just shut up and kiss me. We thank you for redeeming us from our torment. We made it. We're alive. <laughs> By the nuts of Zanquil, if we had a spoon on gun on board, I would blast that vile little planet with stop slaughtering. Never again. Never ever will I have to pass foot on the Earth's Earth again. <laughs> and we all faced the scaler if we returned home without the lost city of Atlantis. Unless we say it was destroyed. You mean why? Who would know? Giles. 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 I love you, but your life is in danger. Don't worry. Well, my mum may get mad, but she wouldn't kill me. No. Come here. No. You may perish, and I may have to save the world. <laughs> oh, heck. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Full tank of gas? Yeah. Well, in uh, that case, I'm awfully sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to hijack your bus. You want to hijack my bus? Yes. And uh, do you think you could step on it? Because I've got to see the wonders of the world, and I've only got 24 hours to see them in. You got it. I had a feeling I was in for some excitement today. Seed part two. You are safe, my dear friends. I had almost given up hope. The council will be pleased. Uh, and now you can join me in my search for the portal of the lost city. And perhaps we can save our people. And, and maybe even half the universe as well. Huh? You see, I told you it was no good. However, there is not a moment to be lost. I have dreadful news from the council. Generals Hage and Yen have told me that two days ago, a horribly beweaponed warship was sighted in the borderlands approaching Earth, and it has been identified as an Urgo Star Wasp. <gasps> if it is true, they may be here at any moment, or they may have even already arrived. I do not need to remind you what would happen if they beamed onto your ship. What? Or what could happen if they got hold of what we are looking for? Raise your security shields and remain vigilant. I will contact you soon. Hmm? Security shields? Where are the codes for the security shields? No, I don't want a first class ticket. I want the whole jet! Oh, yeah, hi. I was interested in purchasing your entire stock of raw diamonds. Oh, sorry, can you hold on a moment, please? Oh. Thanks for getting back. That's right, 20 million stocks of 70, 20 each. Oh, oh, hi, is that the Jamaican Tourist Board? I was wondering how much the island would be. That's right, Dubai. Hey, listen, you think you could throw me a couple of the family banking account numbers? I'm running out of plastic here. Careful, boys. That alien scanner packs a punch. <laughs> and there should be instructions in there somewhere. Sir, the instruction book, sir! It's okay, Sergeant. I've worn one of these before. Right, boys? Let's go and get us some pesky aliens. Stonehenge. One of the great wonders of the world. Imagine it here. 5,000 years ago, a bunch of Anglo-Saxons totally rocked and danced around to tunes played on the Anglo-Saxophone. Awesome. I love this. Once, I thought there was no better way of filling in the odd spare moment than by counting out numbers. But now, 
gazing in awe upon the 127 stones of this world-class wonder, I realized that every one of the 385,499 hours that I have lived thus far have been of no account at all. What oh, the waste of it! What a fool I have been! Giles, I have something to say to you. It's going to be very difficult. I don't know how to say it. Giles, I'm not who you thought I was. I know. You do? Yes, see, okay, I, I thought you were the most beautiful girl in the world. But you're not, you're the most beautiful girl in the whole universe. Giles, please, you have to listen. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be really hard. Just 18 hours and 43 minutes of life to go. And still so many wonders to see. Okay, driver, let's get back on the road. You're a bee. You're a bird. You're a dog. You're a garbage tent. You're a creepy crawly thingy. What am I? What am I? Why won't anybody tell me? Good idea. Before you tell me this really hard thing, why don't you just start by saying something really easy? Like fractal equations or something. Yes. Bed or or toast? No, Giles. You need to know the truth. When I was younger, I was a child genius, and they sent me to college. And it was there that the agency first spotted me. Get out of here! You mean a wild guy like you was really an accountant? Yeah, but with the heart of a poet beating inside. A heart as big as air's rock, rising above the arid flatness of the great Australian outback. You know those kangaroos? I don't think they like us parking here too much. I think you're right. They're hopping mad. Okay then, driver. Time to go. Off to another world wonder. You got it, wild man. But hey, uh, listen. Ever since I got this job, I had a little bit of a problem with my taxes. Oh. Warning! Alien presence detected on board. Boys, he's human. You've seen these aliens? This one's not talking either. Next. Have you seen this non human? Or this subhuman? Why have you got those ears? I don't know. You're a freak, a monster. <laughs> So, what I'm saying is, I'm an agent, Giles. A secret agent. Working for a secret agency within another secret agency. I have been all along. You've been lying to me? Like, all along you've been lying? And spying on all of us? I didn't. I couldn't tell you. Oh, just wait. I need to think this through. Well, just a few hours to go. You know, I guess what I'd really like to see is a world where greed, money, tax problems didn't have a place at all. That truly would be a wonder. But hey, I've traveled around, buddy, and it don't exist. But it does. Red alert! Red alert.
Tell you. Today's headlines. As the massive consumer spending spree continues, the world's financial markets are facing total meltdown. I don't care! Buy it all, buy everything, just buy! I came as soon as I could. Thank God you're here. Look, you gotta get me out of this marriage. Fast! And it's important to wipe the seat afterwards and rude if you don't wash your hands. Is this a fancy dress party? Because you three are dressed awfully strange. You smell a little bit yucky. That's right. A fancy dress party. And why don't you skip into this nice little pot here? Ooh, ooh, is this a game? <laughs> I love games! Please, whiskers. I thought you'd never stop. What is wrong with that life form? I don't know. Let's take a look, shall we? This is one mixed up human. Look at that repressive system, it's off the scale. Nebula, we have to send her back to that nightmare planet, right? Why? Do you want to keep her for experiments? Oh, no, no. It's just that I have an idea. A very evil idea. <laughs> Freak. Monster. Freak. Monster. Freak. Monster. It's funny. It's as though outer space is where I'm destined to be. All my worries are lifted from my weightless shoulders. Either that or you're coping with your eminent departure really well. Charles, please, say something. What's there to say? I mean, it's not as if you were the person I used to know. But I am, and I love you. Do you? Or is it just something else you say to use me? I mean, are they here? You know, your agency friends? Watching us with the hidden cameras? Of course not. Giles, it's what I've been trying to tell you all along. If they knew you were with me, they'd eliminate you. It's the truth. And if you go home now, you're in terrible danger. Okay, everybody. Time to go home. The truth? I don't care anymore, Octave. I, I want to go home and... and... go back home, Octavia. You know, I, you do what... You wanna do. And finally, was the marriage ever consummated? We never went to a restaurant together. Just tell me straight, did you or didn't you? No. No way. Okay. Sign here. And here. And here. And here. And here, here, here. That's it. The marriage is over. Yes! <laughs> Take the stuff away. coming and the mission is incomplete. Uh, please, I beg you, we are so close now. I'm sorry, Special Agent Sam, but we just can't take any more here. Why don't you join us, Special Agent? I cannot, sir, and I must stay and complete the mission or die at the attempt. I feel such a coward. Then stay with me, Nebula. Uh, sorry, Shan. I feel a coward because I am one. Very well. 
but at least send down the negative mass locator with the human female. Without it, I cannot find the portal. But if we beam down the negative mass locator, we will have to beam something up of equal mass. Please. Okay, Shad, deal. Farewell. May the food be with you. Help God. Here we are to our people. The best. What are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. No way, sir. First, we must honor Special Agent Shad's wishes. Prepare to beam down the locator and the female. And we need to find something useless to beam up in its place. I think we should leave this nasty little planet a calling card before we go. Sir, that kind of thing is totally forbidden by every known galactic treaty ever made. Let's do it. <laughs> so what do these aliens look like then? Are they cannibals? They leave a message for all mankind. Do they submit their victims to humiliating probes? Acid for blood or regular? Now you will all be getting answers to these questions in the fullness of time. Are you going to issue a statement? Yes, I will be providing a full and honest account of what has occurred here and it will be sold to the highest bidder, as usual, of course. What about the girl? Yeah, we heard she was a regular sex god, can't get enough. There is absolutely no truth to that rumor. What girl are we talking about here? The one who got abducted. I'm sorry, no more questions. Hey, wait a minute, come back. Is that the Morning, Violet. Sabrina, what can I do for you? It's more a question of what I can do for you. My marriage with Josh didn't work out. I need to raise a little cash. Actually, a lot. Sounds like we still have a lot in common. What's your plan? Exploitation. I'm seeing aliens. I'm thinking Alien Awareness Week. What do you think? Please, Giles. I don't know how I could have been so wrong about you. As far as I'm concerned, you're not even my friend. Fifteen seconds left. Good timing, anyway. Hey, I just want to say, I never realized what a wonderful world this is. But hey, maybe next time you can see the whole universe. Now, that would be wild. Hey. My time is up. Miss Kowalski, does it say 24 hours or 24 years? Years. Ah, oh, what the hell? He's an accountant. We lost him years ago. <laughs> Taxes? Tell us, have you ever seen the wonders of the universe? 